So shalom, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatham. Shalom to Israel, to the elect, to the elect Gentiles, okay, that believe in the Most High and through His beloved Son, Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, okay, the Son and the Savior, okay. My name is Precia Shar. I'm from the Tabernacle of Christ, also known on YouTube as the Warriors of Christ 144. And what I'm about to do is go over the gospel of Jesus Christ. Okay, the, the name of it, the word uh, in Hebrew, Greek, and a certain aspect of the gospel, which is I'm going to go over the salvation. Okay, salvation is only through the gospel of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ. Okay, uh, what I want to say is first is this, out of all the nations and all the civilizations and of all the kingdoms that ruled, whether they be the Greeks, whether they be the Romans, whether they be uh, the Egyptians, uh, Babylonians, they never were civilized, okay, because they never have, the, they never had the gospel. The gospel is the only, you cannot be civilized without the gospel of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ. And that's why their kingdoms always fail. Um, to say that is to say the gospel is eternal, is everlasting, it's forever, it always existed. Okay? Um, let's go to Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6 to prove that the gospel has been here since the beginning of time. It wasn't clearly revealed in the Old Testament, okay? It was sort of in, uh, is a shadow of it in the Old Testament, and it was um, seen in the laws by uh, figures, signs, and symbols, okay? Until Yahweh Shai come, came and brought light to it, okay, and brought the understanding of it. But it was always in the Old Testament. It's been around since the beginning of time, okay? So you have Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6. It says, And I saw another angel fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation and kindred and tongue and people. So as we can see right here, the scriptures call it the everlasting gospel, meaning it has no beginning and has no end. It always existed. It's been here since the beginning of time. It was in the blueprint of the Most High before he created anything. The gospel existed. If the word existed, the gospel existed. Okay? So that, that was Revelation chapter 14 and verse 6. Okay? So now when you go into the Egyptian mystery systems, the illusion or Elysian mystery system of the Greeks, and all these mystery systems that the nations had and these false philosophies and doctrines that the nations had, they wouldn't, you cannot compare them to the gospel, okay? Those mystery systems of the Egyptians, false illusion or Elysian uh, Greek mystery systems, all those systems was false because it wasn't of the scriptures, it wasn't of the Bible. So they was all false, it was uncivilized, and that's why they were destroyed. So now let's go into um, the Hebrew word. The Hebrew word for gospel is basharah, or some people may say basharah, okay, but it's basharah. The uh, Greek word for gospel is evangelion, just like you have these uh, false and fake pastors out here that go by the evangelists. You know, evangelist such and such, even women, evangelist such and such, okay? Because what they're trying to say is that they're declaring the gospel, okay? Um, the, God, the word gospel means good news, uh, good tidings, or the report. It means to declare, to announce good news and good tidings that was going to come to his elect of Israel and of the Gentiles, okay? Now, what is the gospel? The gospel has to deal with salvation through faith by Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, his works and his life. Specifically, it's speaking of the, um, the life, the death, 
the crucifixion, the resurrection, the ascension of Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ. Specifically, that's what the gospel speaks of. The life and the work of Jesus Christ. His, his burial, his death, his crucifixion, his resurrection, and his, his ascension back to the Most High. Him being the Messiah and the Savior. The truth about him according to the scriptures. Okay? Now let's go to... Um, Let's go to some scriptures to prove that you cannot be saved without the gospel. We're going to go to uh, Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, excuse me. Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, okay? Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, and it says this. It says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. This is Paul speaking. He said, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, the good news of Christ, the Messiah, the anointed one. Paul is not ashamed of it. He spoke it boldly. He declared it. He announced it to the, to the nations and to his own people. Okay? He says, for it is the power of God unto salvation. So the, the gospel is the power of the Most High unto salvation. So how do you achieve and attain and reach the goal of salvation? Is through the gospel of Hamashiach Yahushai, Jesus Christ. Okay? For the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believe it. It says to everyone that believes in it, though. Not if you don't believe in it. And not if just, just, just you have the knowledge of it. Okay? You have to believe in it and do the works of it and teach it and obey it. Okay? To everyone that believe it. Okay, to the Jew first, meaning to Israel first, to the Israelites first, to our people first. Okay, and then it says, and also to the Greek, meaning the nations, the Gentiles, the heathens. So, how do you achieve? How do you succeed uh, to be saved? It's through the gospel of Hamashiach Yahushai, whom the world know as Jesus Christ. Okay. From there, we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13, okay? Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13, okay? And I'll be going over different parts of this, okay? Because there's different aspects, many different aspects to the gospel, okay? Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13, it says, And whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of of your salvation, and whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Now check that out. Hamashiach Yahushai is speaking through Paul by the Holy Spirit. It says, and whom ye also trusted. Okay? It says, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your the gospel of your salvation. So what is the word of truth? The gospel of your salvation. That's the word of truth, is the gospel of your salvation. So the gospel is also called the word of truth. Okay? Just like John 17 and 17, Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth, which is the gospel is the truth. The gospel of your salvation is Ephesians 1 and verse 13. And whom also after that ye believe, so after you believe the word of truth, which is the gospel of salvation, what happens to you? It says, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So what seals you? What seals you and separates you from everybody else is that you believe the gospel of truth, okay, by the Holy Spirit of promise. You were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. So what seals you? The gospel. That's why we have to get the correct teachings of the Bible, of the scriptures, of the gospel, of the word of the Most High, of Hamashiach, Yahushai, Jesus Christ. There's many false doctrines that's going around that, such as GMS, ISUBK, GOCC, um, it's a lot of different Hebrew Israelite groups, and it's a lot of pastors that's teaching it incorrectly, okay? You got the nations that's teaching it incorrectly. 
So it's, that's how we know they're not sealed. They're not the ones. You have to teach this gospel, the word of the Most High, correctly and teach Yahweh Shai correctly, okay? Or else you are not sealed, okay? So let me read this again, Ephesians 1 and 13. And whom ye also have also trusted, after ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. So the word of truth is the gospel of your salvation. And whom also after ye believed, after you believed the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So how do you become sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise? Believing in the gospel of salvation, which is the word of truth. Okay, believing in the truth. From there, we're going to go to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and we're going to read verses 1, uh, I believe 1 and 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 and 2. Moreover, brethren, this is Paul speaking again. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you. That's why Paul said he wasn't ashamed of it. He declared it. He announced it. He pronounced it. Okay? Which I preached unto you, which was which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. So what are we supposed to be standing in? Are we supposed to be standing for the world? Are we supposed to be standing for Barack Obama? Are we supposed to be standing for GMS? Are we supposed to be standing for this America, for the so-called white man? Are we supposed to be standing for ourselves? No, we're supposed to be standing in the gospel, okay? That's how we stand and remain standing, okay? So you can't slip and fall, and if you do, get back up and continue to try until Yahweh Shai comes. It says, 1 Corinthians 15 and 1, it says, Wherein ye, wherein ye stand? by which also ye are saved. Check that out. Let me read it again. It says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. By which, meaning the gospel, also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have, unless ye have believed in vain. So check that out. It says, by the which ye also are saved. That's why the church is always talking about, I'm saved, I'm saved. They don't even know what they're really talking about. A lot of them don't even know. They say they saved because they believe in Hamashiach, Yahushua, Jesus Christ, or the gospel, but they don't really and truly believe in him. They say they do. Some of them may truly believe and come out to churches and eventually come to the truth of the gospel. Okay, but that's why they say they saved because they have accepted Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, Jesus Christ, um, which you can't accept them, but that's going into another topic. Okay, it says in First Corinthians 15, verse 2, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I, this is verse 3, for I have delivered you first of all that which I also received how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. So that's part of the gospel. Christ died for our sins. He was crucified. He was put to death. His blood was shed, okay, for our sins according to the scriptures, not according to any other book, okay, not according to the, um, the book of the dead, not according to um, what are the, the Kabbalah, not according to the Muslim Quran, okay, and not according to the Aquarian gospel of Jesus Christ. That's a false, phony book, okay? But it says, according to the scriptures, it says, and that he was buried. So that's a part of the gospel. He was crucified for our sins, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, okay? The third day, which was a Saturday before sundown, okay? According to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, which is Peter, and then of the twelve. And after that, he was seen above 500 brethren at once, meaning his resurrection. They seen him after his resurrection when he came and took on that physical body and he, he, uh, he was changing into different forms. But they seen him. Okay, Thomas called him Lord, my Lord and my God. 
in John chapter 20 and verse 28, it says, And was seen above 500 brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are falling asleep. Now, that was 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 1 through 6. Okay? So now I'm going to go to 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 9 through 12. 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 9 through 12. Okay? And it says this. It says, receiving the end of your faith. This is 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 9 through 12. Receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied of the grace that should come unto you, searching what or what manner of the time, manner of time the Spirit of Christ which was in them did signify. So the Spirit of Christ was in the prophets. Okay, don't let nobody tell you that the Spirit of Christ wasn't in the prophets. The Holy Spirit was in the prophets. The Spirit of Christ was in the prophets. Peter just told you that. It says, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Christ and the glory that should follow. Now check this out, verse 12. It says, unto whom it was revealed, that not unto themselves, but unto us, they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven with things the angels desire to look into. Now check that out. It says, it says the, um, the prophets and apostles by the Holy Spirit preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit or the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. So in order to teach the gospel, what do you have to have? You have to have the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of truth, in order for you to teach the gospel. So that means what? A lot of these brothers and sisters out here, like GMS and a GOCC and all these different uh, camps, they're not teaching the gospel. Okay, they're not teaching the word of truth about Hamashiach Yahweh They teach a Gnostic version or a Gnostic doctrine of Hamashiach Yahweh If you ask them questions about Christ, you will see they go completely off when it comes down to Christ. Okay, because they're not teaching the gospel. You have to have the Holy Spirit. And if you don't teach the gospel, what does that mean? That means you don't have the Holy Spirit. And according to Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13, what else does that mean? That means you're not sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. So shalom to the elect, to Israel. May the Most High bless you, okay, keep you. Uh, may the Most High multiply his grace and mercy upon you. And shalom to the gen elect Gentile nations. Shalom, mercy, and grace to uh, Brother uh, Janae Jameson, Yara Allah out in Ohio, Columbus, and all the brothers and sisters who um who I talk to, whoever I miss, shalom. Stay strong in the spirit of a most high in Christ and how about Shem Yahweh Shalom.